Hello again and welcome back to the channel. Over the last couple of months I haven't been making any updates about the Robin 3D printer project and I want to start that series up again and today I'm going to be talking about the new extruder that I've built for the printer which is a Bowden extruder which has a separated uh, extruder driver to push the filament and this one was built especially for the Robin 3D printer and I'll be showing that one off today. I switched to using a Bowden extruder about six or seven months ago because it makes the design of the printer a lot more simple and the extruder is a lot lighter than all the other things that you can put on there. Um, but the main problem is when you're pressing the filament through this little tube which is made of PTFE or Teflon and is usually made for uh, pressured air so it doesn't expand a lot. Um, and you put this through the extruder and the extruder push it, pushes it out the nozzle. You need a lot of pressure on there and if you don't get the pressure you simply won't get a good result. So it was very important for me to build a new extruder which could exert a lot more pressure than the one that I had before. This is the one I have been using up until now and this is the one that printed these white parts down there. Um, its design is very simple. The idler gear is held by one of the screws of the stepper but it has one big disadvantage because there's not a lot of leverage from the string that pulls it together um, compared to the bearing pressing on the drive you usually end up having a little bit of slippage on the uh, filament the bearing just doesn't have enough pressure so the better idea would be to have more leverage and to exert more pull. That is why I designed this extruder. The extruder is designed for the MK8 drive gear which is in my opinion one of the best around because it can just exert such a lot of force on the filament and it is reasonably small. The main part is just one big block it can be printed in one part, it doesn't need anything special, it has no overhangs or anything complicated. This one was printed in 0.2 millimeter pitch at a 0.1 millimeter layer height. It's very light but very very sturdy. The other part is the base. All the parts snap together, they have an index which makes it very easy to set things up. The top comes at the top and both together then form the axis for the idler which consists of two printed parts and the bearing which is taken from a skateboard. Everything snaps together. It can be held together with a little bit of glue but in usual use this is not necessary because everything fits so well. In the end, all of the parts are held together by the screws of the top and bottom that are screwed into the stepper motor. As you can see, the new mount point for the idler gives you a lot better ratio for the torque set by the lever. If you accept force now with a screw or with a spring it will exert a lot more force on the filament and on the drive gear thus giving you a lot more pressure of filament in the tube going to the extruder. With this design I went for a simple screw and nut to put tension on the lever which turned out to be simple enough but very effective. Um, Although I have some problems fitting the screw in, um, in the end that should be 
held in place with a little bit of glue. Before filming this video, I actually went ahead and drilled all the holes with the appropriate diameter. It turns out that any any thing I put on the surface has the right size, but holes usually tend to be a little bit smaller. Um, so you have to drill these things. But it leads to everything fitting almost perfectly in the end, so that is okay. And once everything is put together, it just fits like a glove. It's amazing. To set the screw and the force exerted on the filament, I use a simple washer and a rubber seal uh, together with a nut, or even better, a lock nut, um, to put the force on the filament. This works very well, and those little rubber washers, which are used in uh, air pressured uh, devices or coffee makers, for example, are really good. You should use a lock nut, it makes things a lot easier. So, in the end, everything is fitted on top of the stepper motor, and if you want to make things even better, you can add another bearing at the axis of the stepper which pushes against the base of the extruder drive to make sure that it doesn't move that much when the stepper is pushing at it, against it. Um, this works very well and it is held in place by the upper bearing. Now we add the attachment to the Teflon tube to the extruder which is really only screwed into the plastic. Um, it cuts very well and it holds down very well as well. And basically, once we add the drive gear, we're done. The drive gear simply slips on. Once it's about at the right height, there's a small extrusion in the plastic, so you can fix it down. And then you should simply put some filament in there and mount it to the correct height. And you're done. Everything's finished. I've been using this extruder for about one week now, and I'm very happy with it. I had to adjust it twice, but the results of all prints just look fantastic. Um, there's very little oozing and there's very little uh, drive latency and I'm really happy with it. So I hope you liked this video. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.